Folks around here actually do any work? There is no need to be sort of. Honor is bad. God, help. Oh, Lord. I see mushrooms with bigger brains. Hey, don't think I deserve that. My God. Look at you. such a thing. Why are you acting like this? Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? Tickets for one, please. Please, through those double doors. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse Tony's. with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere, in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined Tony. the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Get off 
the Truly stage. the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing I knocks down you death's door faster than this. <laughs> A man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Careful. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. What's going on here? Wow. That always scares me. Time in this town. Now, observe as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. of dang balderdash. Ah, <laughs> a skeptic, hmm? Ah, and Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. Do These more. bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to fun. catch a bullet in my teeth. All right, let's Fantastic. Go. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Take a. Oh, gonna fight is too much. And fire! I don't have teeth there! I'm not a phoenix!
in his flanks, Rap. Oh, God, that hurts. You absolute villain. Son of a bitch.